So, this is the second video in the series. And my first one was on, uh, this is a beginner's series, which I'm calling Shorts for some reason. And last time we did image to image and we saw basically how this image made a, made a new one that had something in relation to that. And we learned that if we have the uh, denoise here at one, then we're doing text to image, not image to image. So what we'll do now is look at, we'll leave it at one and we'll have a look at what prompts do, because there's a lot of um, disinformation on prompts. So if you, if you haven't watched the previous video, it would help if you did, because I explained about most of the boxes and, and what the numbers do in, in here. So you, if you watch that, you'll know that at denoise one, it's ignoring this image and it's just taking the size of the image, which is 1024 by 1024. So what we'll do is, is break it down to its absolute simplest. So we'll just put in a man and we'll take everything out of here, nothing in there at all. And we're just putting a man, nothing else at all. There we go. So we have a mode, essentially a photograph of a man. And as we haven't said where he is, it's just put in a random place a man could be. But there, this could be anything. So uh, if I change the seed, uh, we'll get a, a different place behind him and a different man. So the man is what we call our subject. So we got I like to call them slots. So we have a subject a slot, and this is the man. So next we might have a place slot. And so I could say a street, because he's in a sort of square at the moment, isn't he? So we'll put in a street only. And there's that back, and as you see, we have a man, different man. And he's now in a street. So we've got our subject and we've got our place. And the next thing we might have is what sort of day it is. So the, uh, the ambience, the, the, the feel of, of the day, um, the lighting, if you're a photographer. So I could say morning light. So we'll run that. And there he is back, and you see, we have morning light. And so very few words have made the thing. Now, the other thing you could do is tell us about uh, what sort of image is it? Is it a painting? Is it a photograph? It will do a photograph by default. So uh, it'll automatically do a photo. So if I change it to... Uh, illustration or a comic illustration. It's always better to have a sort of illustration. Just illustration. Um, it, a photograph might be an illustration. A photograph might be illustrating something. But a comic is a, illustration is a sort of illustration. So we run that and we've now got four slots. The subject, the place, the lighting and feel and the sort of image you want four slots. And there we have it. We have our man, he's on the street, it's like a comic strip, and there's morning light. So we have every object in this prompt. Mad prompters who put in sort of huge word salad may be surprised to realise that you only have four slots really. You have your subject slot, the place slot, the light and ambience slot and the sort of image slot. But you can add descriptions for each of these. And again, you can break them in with a comma only. So a man and he is a gangster. Or maybe not a gangster. Well, a man, he is a businessman. And he's in a derelict street and the morning light is throwing long shadows and the the sort of picture it is we'll we'll leave at that so we've made the man into a businessman we've made the street derelict and we could actually take the man out so we we define the sort of man 
so we don't need the man anymore. We don't actually need these A's, they can go. So morning light, so you've got businessman, derelict street, morning light, long shadows, comic illustration. So here we have it. We have long shadows, we have our businessman, we have a derelict street, we have the morning light, and we have a comic illustration. So we can go further. We can give him red hair and sunglasses. And with prompts, you always check, did I get what I prompted for? If you didn't get what you're prompted for, your prompt isn't very good uh, and you need more, uh, more clarity. So we talked about our businessman and we give him red hair and sunglasses. This will bring him forwards. So if we go derelict street, and if we put in something else, wrecked cars. So we're adding something else into our place prompt. So our business man person subject prompt is now businessman red hair and sunglasses. Our street prompt is derelict street wrecked cars. Morning light long shadows. We've got two in there. So we might add a uh, an artist. So we could add, I have to think about this, which artist I add. So we'll put a famous comic strip artist in, uh, Will, Will Eisner, who is a famous, uh, a famous comic strip artist. It, I, I don't know whether it'll know about him. So all of these things are because of images that have been put into the model when it was made. So there were lots of photos of people. They had sunglasses, they had red hair, they had brown hair. There were streets, there were posh streets, there were shopping streets, there were medieval streets, there were there were fast cars, there were wrecked cars, there were mornings, evenings with shadows and mist and, and whatever you wanted. There was all sorts of illustration, there were millions of photographs and there were lots of artists put in as well. Whether Will Eisner makes a difference depends on how many pictures by Will Eisner were put in and we'll find out now. So here it is and you see it really knows who Will Eisner is, because that's very much Will Eisner's style. And hasn't the image got better? As we've added a description. So, every time you do a prompt, and you get the result, you do an audit on what have you got? What have you asked for? Businessman, here he is. Red hair, there's the red hair. Sunglasses, there's sunglasses. Derelict street. There's the derelict street. Wrecked cars. It really likes wrecked cars. <laughs> to laugh at that. Because it, it the, I don't know, there must be a lot of pictures of red cars put in because it absolutely loves wrecked cars. And we have the morning light, we have the long shadows, we have the comic book illustration, and we have Will Eisner's style. So we have everything that um, we asked for. The other things you might ask for are, what is he doing? What is, what is our man doing? He might be running. What if our man was running? What would, what would that help? So after red businessman, red hair and sunglasses, we could put in what he's doing. So we'll put running in and see what happens. We'll leave the derelict street, we'll leave the wrecked cars and the morning light. All of these things we can leave alone. But we just change one word and we make him run. And here we have him. He's running down the street. <laughs> Out of scale with their cars. <laughs> it's a very big man running down the street. Um, <coughs> there you go. Uh, if you wanted to um, change this, what the process is, is to change the seed and uh, look for a seed where you don't have a giant man and miniature cars. Uh, you wouldn't have to do many seeds. Um, we'll do another one, see if we get lucky. And here we have our man back and the car's the right size and everything's wonderful. It's even got quite good hands. <laughs> That's a rarity. <laughs> but um, we've got a few glitches. You see the trousers are strangely joined up there. You always have a few glitches, I'm afraid. So, what have we learnt here? We have learnt that you only have 
certain number of slots. You have description of the man. Here we've got one, two, three, four slots in the first subject slot. We've got one, two inputs in the derelict street. Well, we've got more really. We've got derelict street wrecked cars. <coughs> so we've got several things in there. Morning light, long shadows. We have really four things in there. And we have four things in here as well. The bad news is you don't have much more than four. That is the lot. You can add words, but as you add words, you'll find that your audit comes up without some of the words you put in. So here we've got businessman, red hair, sunglasses. He's running. He's in a derelict street with wrecked cars. There's morning light. There's long shadows, it's a comic strip illustration, and it's in the style of an Eisner. So we have everything we asked for. So once you have the prompt working like this, um, uh, then you can start to have fun. Um, you can add anything you can imagine into here and uh, change things around and try different uh, noise seeds. And you can make a whole string of, of, of of, of nice images that are quite consistent. So I think that's just about it. Uh, I'm trying to show you one thing where we change everything around, show what you can do, I suppose. So here we've gone to town on the uh, on the prompt. So we've got Mr. Hyde, a real character. I think you'll know about Jacqueline Hyde. Red hair, top hat, smiling, running, Victorian alley and gas lamps. So we've really setting the scene now we puddles and it's sunset we've got dramatic lighting uh long shadows it's comics it's written and I suppose as is mr hyde we can have a genre in there along with will and we put in horror and uh, this is what we get there we go so once you have a prompt working uh, uh really well then you can start to have fun with it and you'll you'll get quite nice illustrations from uh, from every seed uh, and it's a sign of a good prompt if uh, the seeds produce uh, quite consistent images so i hope that was informative and uh, i know some people would, would disagree with me about prompting but it's only my opinion so uh, so never mind that okay thanks for your attention